Hi everyone, this is Webos Roundup. Today I'm going to be reviewing Hero of Sparta by Gameloft. This game costs $6.99 on the catalog. As you can see, this is a action-adventure game. There's a lot of uh, nice colors. Uh, the graphics themselves are kind of meh. Uh, there's little jaggies here and there that you'll see, especially if it zooms in. But the animation is quite nice. You can see I'm controlling the guy by this D-pad here. Uh, this is my biggest complaint of the game. The controls are a little wonky sometimes. They just don't move with the responsiveness that I'm used to with, say, a Xbox 360. Now, of course, that's not a fair comparison, but that's what I'm used to. The sound is solid. There are lots of nice little sound effects, but every once in a while it gets off. Um, that's a really minor complaint. Uh, the animation is very nice, as well as the levels. The, as you can see, there's a lot of verticalness in here that gives a lot of variety to the levels as you move around and eventually you go to Hades there really is a lot going on and they're very nicely colored uh, so the levels do level designers get some props now with the control issue sometimes the traps that you see the little spikes that pop up from time to time uh, they get a little uh, difficult to do simply because you don't move exactly the way you hope to this right here is a quick time event which happens in combat quite a bit uh, it gets a little repetitive um, like all these snake guys, to kill them is all the same. If I run into Mentars, they're all the same. The bosses are unique. They have some uh, fun quick time events where you have to slide around and protect yourself and stuff like that. I think they did a good job there. Overall, this game is a lot of fun. If you can get past the control issues, it is worth picking up. Um, it's a little different than most of the other ones. Uh, I'm not sure if the control issues are the game's fault or if they're just the nature of the, the touch screen UI. I'll have to play a few more of these. I have the D-pad here to to see the difference. Uh, but overall, I think if you are looking for something a little different than your driving games and stuff like that, that's worth picking up. Otherwise, uh, you might want to keep your money in your pocket and uh, try something else. This has been WebOS Roundup. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.